Hello, and welcome back to another inspiring episode of Fearless Narratives. I am your host, Cortland Jones, and today is Fearless Fridays. I'm going to share with you my feel the fear and do it anyway moment. And today's topic is about the time that I hosted my first in-person event to celebrate the two-year anniversary of the design database. Let's get into it. Now, this story takes us to the heart of my journey with the design database, a momentous occasion where I decided to throw our first in-person event celebrating the platform's two-year anniversary. After the triumphs and tribulations of relaunching the new platform, attracting over 300 new customers, I wanted to celebrate the resilience of the last two years. As they say, the first two years are the toughest for entrepreneurs, and I was determined to defy the odds. I had hosted virtual events that helped us serve our community pretty well, but with the world reopening after the pandemic, I wanted to create a more tangible experience for my community. Although money was tight, as always, I set out to manifest a celebration that would resonate with gratitude and appreciation. I scoured Brooklyn for the perfect venue and found a charming coffee shop with a beautiful garden. I decided to go to the actual venue in person and visualize myself in the space hosting this event in real life. Doing that made it feel more tangible. So I reached out to the owners on Instagram And to my surprise, they agreed without telling me the price. I took a leap of faith and I trusted that it would all work out. So I had gone with it. I created a page on Eventbrite to start promoting the event across the platform and social media. But my fears of an empty space lingered. I was afraid that nobody would actually show up. But soon... Ticket sales began rolling in, and I was so happy. Now, the plan wasn't to make a profit from the event because I needed to pay for the actual space, but I wanted to share a moment of gratitude with my invaluable community. And we sold out. (laughs) The excitement surged as the tickets flew off of the digital shelves. I hired someone to help me with the event, but unfortunately she canceled last minute. Luckily for me, one of my community members, now a dear friend, stepped in as a true lifesaver. The event unfolded seamlessly with an intimate gathering of old and new friends. Not everyone showed up, but the turnout was enough for a space filled with warmth and celebration. Now, you might be wondering, how did I manage to pay for it? (laughs) As always, fate played a huge role. Trusting in the process, I leaned on my family for support and they helped me to make the celebration possible. So my fearless listeners, I hope this story for you is a reminder to be brave, to take chances, and trust in the magic of uncertainty. Thank you for joining me today on a new episode of Fearless Narratives. Sometimes when you leap, the net appears, and the outcome is even more incredible than you dare to imagine. So stay fearless, stay inspired, and stay tuned for a new episode on Monday as we celebrate the amazing women who are changing the world today, one fearless narrative at a time. (laughs) And that is a wrap. Fearless Narratives airs every Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday. Thank you for joining us today. You have been an amazing audience and we really love your support. So we also would love for you to give us a nice five-star review. And until next time, stay fearless.